We're here today with Pat Lynch at the Moldboard Plowing Demonstration at the Outdoor Farm Show. And Pat, we probably had about 700 people here in two days. Yep. What does that tell you about the interest in moldboard plowing? The farmers are interested in moldboard plowing. My point is that there's a lot of moldboards out there that have paid their debt. They are not capable of doing the type of tillage we need now. Some of them are, are so old and so bad they'd be better if they were melted down and, and, and you know turned into swords. They'd be doing less damage. Typically some of those older plows are plowing way too deep. The plows demonstrate here today they can plow quick, they can plow shallow. They're not plowing pretty like they do at a, at a plowing match but they will plow the way the farmers want. And of the various uh, plows here today the numerous options are just limitless so the farmer or the plows have been set up with a view as to how you know they thought the farmers might like to see this soil plowed uh, some of the comments were well you're plowing too deep or you're plowing too shallow but these plows can go from as shallow as four inches to uh, uh, so deep I don't even want to say the number and and that is going to depend on the soil type and what the farmer wants and especially a secondary tillage uh, one of these or more than one of these plows you can plow in the fall a single pass in the spring and you plant and that's the ideal and you know, we want to plow we want to keep the soil in place which means a nice bit of residue being left one tillage pass in the spring and then we want to be able to plant now, the problem with some of the older plows was that they were plowing so deep that we were using multiple passes of secondary tillage in the springtime and we were destroying soil texture not structure but texture and the more passes in the spring the worse it gets so with the newer plows we're doing a better job uh, no, no strikeouts, no dead furrows, uh, not as much secondary tillage, and that's, and that's why these plows are making a bit of a comeback. Final question for you. Um, any tips? You've seen a lot of plows in action in the last two days. Um, there, there are some. You've got to work with the dealer and the setup. There are some concepts that I disagree with. One is that you can make topsoil by, by plowing subsoil up. I have never seen anything that would suggest that. There are different people that do suggest it. I am deathly against that. I, I think, you know, with some of the growers with smaller acres, they don't have to buy a plow. They can rent it. And some of this newer technology, it is expensive, but there's nothing wrong with renting a plow. Um, again, you know, you, you work with your dealer and see what's available, but like um, more of the tillage equipment as we're going down the road, it is expensive and growers with smaller acres can't afford to be, to be buying some of this, but they sure can afford to rent it.